Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Eclipse IDE in your Windows 10 operating system. And then I will also show you how to run your first Java program in your Eclipse IDE. So let's begin. Now to install Eclipse IDE, first you need to check whether Java has already been installed on your computer or not. This is very important guys. So for that just simply uh, go to your command prompt and in here just simply type java space dash version then enter. And now as you can see that java version 15.0.2 has been directly installed on your computer. Now if you see some different message something like java is not recognized as an internal or an external command then you, you just know that java is not installed on your computer. So for that you need to install java. So you will be getting this video tutorial on how to install Java in your Windows 10 operating system right at this i button and also in the description. So what you need to do is you need to first in install Java before installing Eclipse. This is very important guys there are many students who are you know uh, failing to run program in Eclipse IDE after installing Eclipse IDE because just because they haven't installed Java properly or they haven't set Java home. So in this video that I have mentioned in the description you will be seeing that how to install Java and also how to set this environment variable and also Java home. This is very important otherwise you know you will be not be able to run this, this program in this Eclipse IDE. Alright so now that Java has been installed on our machine Java just simply cancel it and then go to your favorite browser to download Eclipse. Uh, so in our address bar we will simply type Eclipse IDE download for Windows 10 right and now we'll be seeing our first link that is from this www.eclipse.org and, and and it states Eclipse ID for Java developers so just simply click on that and now as you can see this is basically our official page of this Eclipse foundation uh, so just simply you know allow cookies and all and then just uh, scroll down a bit to get this download link so just simply click on that and then you'll be seeing this download button to download Eclipse IDE so just simply click on that and now you'll be seeing that this Eclipse IDE has been currently downloading I have already downloaded it so I'll just simply you know cancel this and I will just simply go to our download directory and in here as you can see this Eclipse IDE has been you know rightly downloaded over here so to install just simply double click on it and now I will just simply minimize this uh, browser and download directory and now as you can see this Eclipse installer has been rightly launched and in here you will be seeing this many options that is this Eclipse ID for Java developers or for Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers or the C, C++ developers or uh, Eclipse ID for embedded C++ developers and also we can use this Eclipse ID for JavaScript, PHP and other languages as well. But in this video we are going to discuss how to install Eclipse ID for Java developers right. So what we will be doing is we will be just simply click on this uh, Eclipse ID for Java developers. This is basically the popular one you know we basically use Eclipse ID mainly for Java. And now in here as you can see the C program file so Java JTK 15.0.2 is basically our Java installation directory right and this is basically our Eclipse installation directory under this directory this Eclipse is going to be installed. So what I will be doing is I will be you know keeping all this default and then just simply click on install and now as you can see this installation has been directly begun. You need to have an active internet connection right throughout this installation because Eclipse IDE is going to download some packages right at the back end. So it will take a minute or two. So what I will be doing is I will be you know coming back once when it gets done. Yeah. So welcome back and now as you can see our Eclipse install installation has been rightly completed. So what I will be doing is I will be just simply click on launch to launch our Eclipse IDE. And now as you can see our Eclipse IDE 2020-12 has been rightly launched. And in here it's basically asking our workspace. So this is basically you know our default workspace. So in here under this Eclipse workspace all the projects that you are going to build in this Eclipse IDE going to be present. 
so what i'll be doing is you know i'll be keeping this all default and then i'll also check this so that you know they don't ask this again and again and now just simply click on launch but if you want to you know change your this eclipse work page then you can simply click on browse and you can change your uh, this eclipse work page destination i'll be you know keeping this all default so just simply click on launch and now this eclipse id is now currently you know starting and now as you can see our eclipse id has been directly launched this is basically our id this is where you know all our projects are going to be present and this is the place where we are going to basically you know code so to create a new project just simply click on this file and then new this java project so just simply click on that and in here just simply give a java project name so let's give a project name as a first so this is basically you know our first program so just give it a first and then just simply click on finish and now they basically asking to create a module so for which you know i don't want to create any module so just simply click on don't create and now as you can see our first project has been rightly created over here but here you'll be seeing this cross that's because this build path has not been set in in your eclipse environment so for that just simply go to windows then preferences and in here just simply type jre you'll be seeing the search result and in here just simply click on this install jre and then you will be seeing this location so just simply you know double click on it and in here you will be seeing this jre home path has not been set there is some give some garbage file location so here we need to give a specific file location right so for that just uh, keep this and then go to your um, uh, c directory and then uh, program files and then java and in here you will be seeing this jdk 15.0.2 install directory now as i said at the beginning of the video you need to install java so i have installed java so i have this directory uh, so just simply go inside that directory and in here just simply you know select this path that is the c program files java jdk 15.0.2 so just you know simply right click on it and then a copy to copy this path now just simply minimize it and in here just simply you know uh, control a to select everything then delete and then just simply you know control v to paste so this is basically what we are doing is we are just simply you know setting this jre home this is very important guys so now that you know we have rightly set jre home now just simply click on finish and then apply and close and now as you can see after setting java home our error has been rightly gone so now just you know simply expand this and then just simply click on this src and then just simply right click on it and then new and in here we will be basically creating a new package so just simply click on that and in here we will be naming a package as a com.geekyscript that is basically name of our company and now just simply finish so here you will be seeing this com.geekyscript package has been directly created and now just you know simply uh, select your package and then just right click on it to create a new class this is basically you know our main class so just give main class and we will be also checking this public static void main this is basically our main class so we, we need this main method so you know keep this all default and then just simply click on finish and you will be seeing under this package com.geekyscript we have basically created this class and is rightly listed under this com.geekyscript uh, package in here we'll be you know simply printing hello world so so for that just simply type system dot out dot println and then just simply we are basically printing hello world so hello world and now just you know semicolon and now if i just simply you know click on this run button you'll be seeing this save and launch so just you know simply uh, save this project so okay and now you'll be seeing this hello world has been rightly prompted in our console so that's all for this video friends i have shown you how to install eclipse ide rightly in your windows 10 operating system 
so that's all for this video friends thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please give it a like and also do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all